This is the real Tom Rose. We're going to solve a problem here. We've been asked for the value of n, and we've been given something encoded. So we're back to our most famous format, where we're given something and we're asked to find something. In this case, we're asked to find the value of n. And let's decode what we've been given. Let's see. The square of n, OK, I can do that, n squared, is equal to 4 times the square of m. So let's take the square of m and 4 times that. So we want to multiply by 4. And we're also given another constraint. Interesting. If n is 1 more than twice m, n is 1 more than twice m. So here's twice m, and there's n, and we need to add one more. Which is the big size? The, the trap here is if you mess this up, the plus 1. It says n is 1 more than twice m. Um, so what's the big side and what's the small side? n is the, oops, n is the big side, because it's 1 more. So twice m must be the small side. So if we're going to make these two sides of this equation equal, we better add the 1 to the small side. And we've been asked to find the value of n. And we need to find, if you look in the answers, we actually need to find the exact value. So let's solve one of these and plug into the other. Uh, we already have one solved for a variable. We have n is equal to 2m plus 1. So why don't we just plug that in? And what we'll end up with is 2m plus 1, ugh, this is going to be so ugly, equals 4m squared. Well, we've got no choice. We're going to have to foil this out. So foiling is first inside, outside, last. And let's go ahead and start doing that. So if I have 2m squared is going to be 4. Actually, I'll show the intermediate step. Um, 2m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 equals 4m squared. Now, to, to multiply this out, we have to what's known as foil it. Foiling is multiplying both of the first things together, multiplying both of the outside things together, the inside things, and the last foil. First, outside, inside, last is an acronym. So let's go ahead and do that. 2m times 2m is 4m squared plus 2m plus 2m plus 1 times 1 is 1 equals 4m squared. And ah, I see. Ah, they've saved us. Whew, thankfully, um, we have a 4m squared on both sides. So I'm going to subtract 4m squared. I don't know if you if you realize how much they just work they just saved us, but getting rid of that squared term prevents us from having to do any sort of quadratic factoring or anything like that. So this is great. So we end up with 4m plus 1 equals 0. Let's add 1 to both sides. And we're not going to quite make it on this screen. We're going to end up with 4m equals negative 1. That should have been subtracting 1 from both sides. And we're going to divide both sides by 4. And we'll be left with m equals negative 1 quarter, which is answer choice C. Da, ah, no, it's not. m is negative 1 quarter. We have to plug that back in to get n. We've been asked to find n. Ooh, don't make that mistake. It's deadly. So let's plug this negative 1 quarter whoop, back into the equation that we have for n. n is equal to 2 times negative 1 quarter plus 1, 
which equals negative 2 over 4 plus 1, which equals negative 1 half plus 1, which equals 1 half. Whew, that was close. The answer is actually E.